it's a kind of a dreary day out here on the bayou uh, very wet uh, not cold but damp a little chilly and it's one of those days where you just really don't want to do anything you have to force yourself so I'm forcing myself today to do some preventive maintenance and some PMing on that's the same thing isn't it on some of my motorized items so I've been running the John Deere a little bit we don't need to mow because you know this is winter for us this is deepest darkest winter uh, but I've been running it a little bit gonna put some stable in it and I've got both the generators going right now as you can tell and I'll run them for about an hour put some load on them and then I will uh, stay build them also and it's just uh, something I want to do that um, I hope will help these guys even though I do tend to run them every two months or so um, I figure it can't hurt and I'm also running the truck which I don't run near often enough so I have these guys set up in parallel and if you're one of my five faithful you remember when I got these that's one reason why I wanted to get two of the same type so that I could put them together to pretty much double their output so I got a 2500 and a 2200 I think, of course those are starting but I think it's an 1800 that's a 2000 and so when you combine these together you get about 4,000 running watts and I have found back when this tree came down that one generator while it would run this electric chainsaw it didn't run it to its best of its ability with both of them in tandem like this I can and Westinghouse is not the only generator company that does this um, I mean the, the, all of the inverter generators companies nowadays are getting into this bandwagon um, so what you got to do though is you got to make sure you get the parallel cable that matches your generators so you want to kind of commit to a brand and stick with it so I'm just out here today putting the load on these guys running them um, I had run the uh, the tandem before I was supposed to be calling it parallel but I call it tandem and I just done it to make sure it works but I just wanted to get out here and run them for about an hour throw a load on them get them run through and then when I when I uh, get ready to shut them down I'll put a little bit of uh, stable in there and put them up for a couple months all right so we're all done we've run our generators we uh, have exercised them using the parallel cord put a real a real uh, burden on them let them get some work done and now we're putting them away we've got a little stay bill in them and one of the most important parts of PMing a generator is we're logging the hours I had these things going for about an hour and 15 minutes and it's real important to log your hours so that you can keep track of when was the last time you ran it you know what did you do with it and it's just going to help you to maintain and get the most life out of these generators. They cost too much to not take care of them. Hey, thanks for watching.